misdemeanor on their record. Can they? They can't get rid of it, right? Even if they. What, what would it matter? What would it matter, man? What anybody? If you could, you, you could. Well, well, one, yes, you could get anything expunged from a record if you want to. All you have to do is saying by that being placed upon uh, my name or that name which I claim is causing me harm. And if you don't fucking remove that, I'm going to have to make a claim against the person who's in control of that. Uh, okay. You'd always make it that if somebody's doing something or somebody's not doing something, and by doing what they're doing, their policy procedures or practices is causing you a man harm. And that, yes, that maybe that policy, practice, and rules was put there for a, a benefit for society, for the general good. It still doesn't negate the fact that it's causing you a man harm and that you need them to cease and desist immediately. Oh. And you will file out with the court, right? Like. Uh, no, you find out with the fucking person that's doing it to you. You find, like, a vital statistics or whoever's who's ever in control of the paperwork. Uh, you go to them first. Okay. And if they say, well, you need a court order, it's like, okay, so you t so I guess at this point, Bobby, you're telling me no, right, Susie? <laughs> a man, and you know that you by what you are doing and failing to do is causing another man harm and financial loss. You are now making yourself liable for uh, causing of uh, my injury or my financial loss. Right. So is is that is that how you want to you know is that how you're going to stand in court like I'm giving you a warning here. Is this is this your story? Is this what you're going to stick to? That you're doing it. You're a good little Nazi and you're going to put a bullet in my head cause Hitler gave you a piece of paper that said kill me. So is this how you're going to roll? Well, look, mm -hmm. I'm just carrying out my orders. Good. Now that's what they said at Nuremberg trials and they killed all those fucking German officers that put bullets in little kids' heads. So just because you're carrying out orders, don't carry them out, man. If somebody's telling you, hey, man, you're going to hurt me if you do that. You can't hurt somebody just because somebody else orders you to do it. Yeah. Like I said, now, if you're killing a soldier, that's one thing. Because that guy's coming at you with a gun, he's going to kill you. But you just can't just shoot little women and children in the head. They didn't pose any eminent means of any kind of death or destruction to you. What was the purpose of you doing that to these people? Well, you know, we didn't look at them as people. Yeah, yeah. You, know? you can't just do that. I don't give a damn what a piece of paper told you you could do. Well, if I didn't do that, you know, they would have, they they would have, uh, you know, busted me out of the army. Oh, oh well. So you would at least you would have died with a clear conscience that you didn't fucking just hurt, and blow up a little baby's brain. Isn't it better that you could have died with a clear conscience? Well, they would have shot me if I didn't carry out the order. Well, good. Well, if I, didn't, if I didn't do that, they would have killed me. Really? How many German soldiers did you see shot and killed because they wouldn't kill Jewish kids? Well, I didn't see anybody. Well, they told us that they might have. Yeah, well, you know what? Until they do it, you're only conjecturing that that's what they might have done to you. It, it's just funny, man. Like I said, it, it's just uh, it's just amazing, man. And thank God we got, uh, like I said, all this past history in which we can rely upon. Like I said, like something just as simple as the Nuremberg trials or the O.J. Simpson trial or this latest one, the Zimmerman trial. Same thing, the Zimmerman trial. He got away because dead men tell no tales. The black kid was dead. The 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 the, the Chilean or Argentinian kid, whoever it was, the Zimmerman guy, he got away with it. Why? Because dead men tell no tales. Who knows who threw the first punch? Who knows? There was no eyewitness. And Zimmerman said, didn't say a fucking thing. The other side had to prove their case. They couldn't prove their case. Maybe the guy got away with murder. Who the hell knows? Goes dead men tell no tales. And you can't convict the guy unless somebody gets to testify that they seen who or who did not throw the first punch. No way of knowing. That's right. But that's that's the rule of law. Sometimes a guy like a, like a, like an O.J. Simpson gets away with it. You know, everybody knows he's guilty as dirt. And the Zimmerman thing. Hmm, honestly, man, that's a tough one. It's a fifty-fifty coin toss. You know, because both guys could have started. Who knows? You know, I wasn't there. It's just a guess. And do you want the price of somebody's life on your hand by making a wrong guess? And the jury has to say, well, no. That's why we have a rule of law. Does there have to be an eyewitness guess? Just like Judge Judy said. Judge Judy said to the busload of uh, Catholic nuns, when a black guy hit that bumper off their front bumper in New York, and uh, the guy said, uh, uh, the, the, the Judge Judy said to the nuns, um, what makes you think this man did it? Well, we got a busload of orphans that's seen him do it, and uh, he gave us a bogus phone number, 
and he told us that this uh, uh, junkyard will give you a free bumper. I'll tell, uh, look for Bubba. He's my brother, and he'll give you a free bumper. We went to the junkyard. They said, we don't know nobody named uh, Leroy, and uh, there ain't nobody down here named Bubba. And they were like, and the nuns were like, well, you know, now we just went to $500. And then he, she said to the nuns, well, let's see what Leroy's got to say. Leroy, what do you have to say? He says, those bitches are fucking cracking nonsense motherfuckers. They don't, they ain't never seen my life. They just pinned the first black guy they fucking seen coming down a fucking road. I don't know who these fuckers are. I never fucking went down. I don't have a driver's license. I just came out of prison. I'm not allowed to drive. I'm on parole. So Judge you know, I've been said, trying to find that episode ever since you said it the last show. Yeah, and I find it on YouTube. When you watch the when you watch the when you watch the Church Judy shows, you could skip the first twenty five minutes and just watch the last five minutes. So, mm-hmm. however many, if, if they sell them in a series pack or something like that, you just just could just get to every last episode of Judge Judy show in the last five minutes. Uh, that guy, yeah. that guy was brilliant by just saying, "I don't recall. I don't have a fucking clue. These fuckers are setting me up. They're just picking the first motherfucker that walk." It was Catholic fucking nuns with a bus full of fucking orphans, man. It's hysterical, man. And the judge was like, look, I know this guy's lying through his teeth. I know it. I know he did it. He's, I said, there's no way in the world you fucking nuns would possibly move a fucking court and, and make a claim against anybody. You must be desperate for the money at this orphanage or you would have never brought anybody into court. So obviously, you know, I know this guy did it. You got 50 freaking kids here. They're all swearing up and down. He's the guy. But honestly. You need a third-party impartial witness. Did you ask, like, some little old lady walking down the street, can you uh, uh, put this in your mind? Can I take your name down as a witness to this accident? No, you never thought that you'd be stiffed for a bumper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> the guy learned all his law from being in prison all his life. This guy's got a record a mile fucking long. He's got jailhouse fucking attorney skills. You're never going to beat this guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the people who get in trouble their whole life, they know how to get out of it because they've been getting in it their whole life, and they know how to work the system. She was like, he just knows how to work the system. You're never going to beat this guy. I know he's guilty of sin. He's laughing. He's mocking us. He thinks this is a total joke. But like Judge Judy said, look, but you good, godly Christian white women got to realize that when you good, godly Christian white woman messed around with a black guy down in Alabama 50, 60 years ago, and all of a sudden you got busted with this black guy, all of a sudden, you screamed rape, and the next thing you know, this guy was swinging from a tree. <laughs> so uh, it comes around goes around. Now in this country, you need a third-party impartial witness. No matter who you are, no matter what color you are, no matter who you think you are, you need a third-party impartial witness, and you ain't got it. So i got to set this man free. Mm. And that's the whole rule of law in this country, third-party impartial witness. You need a man to testify under oath who has nothing to gain by either side winning. What happened, what he saw, what he witnessed. Until then, it's 